All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Several Full Four. So today, guys, I'm going to do my 2023 predictions. So today, we'll be doing international and club related predictions. There will be timestamps in the description below. And like I said, if you're new out here, consider hitting the like button. The like button is free. And also hit the subscribe button. Both are free, guys. Both are free. It really does help the channel grow as a whole. And I really couldn't do this without you guys. So let's make this a new, best start to the new year. And let's try to get, for the new year, 20 likes. I haven't really asked for likes that much very often. And usually during videos. And let's start off the new year by a bang and getting this one at 20 likes. 20 likes, guys. And also comment down below, guys. I love reading your comments, man. I love reading your comments. Anyways, I feel like I did enough introductions. And so let's go ahead and do this, man. Let's go ahead and do this. So let's start with the first one I have here is the USA. I think the USA will win this year's Gold Cup. I think the USA is the most equipped, the best national team in CONCACAF, my opinion. And I know people will tell me Canada for what they did in the World Cup qualifiers, which was really, really impressive. Don't get me wrong. However, I still think USA is better than Canada in terms of player pool. Now, I will give Canada that they do play better than the US. I will give them that. Um... It's just, I think USA, um, I think they'll want to defend their title, you know. Um, for what they did in 2021 edition, it was incredible. The way that the way they fought for those games, you know. And I just think the USA is going to make a statement here. Who knows? Canada could do something. I wouldn't be surprised. But let's be real, guys. It's really between USA, Canada, and Mexico. I really don't see any other national team winning it. And even Mexico, I'm not even so sure, to be honest with you. Next prediction. The next prediction I have. Um, is El Salvador reach the semifinals of Gold Cup. Now, this might be a big call to make, and I might be, this might be a big of a, too big of a hunch. However, I do think it is plausible, because remember, guys, in the last Gold Cup, they made the world uh, quarterfinals, and they were a few minutes away from eliminating Qatar. And remember, they had to, they came from behind. Well, they technically didn't. Um, they almost made the, the biggest comeback in history. They get a three goal, three nil comeback from being three nil down. It was incredible. I almost, I really wish they did it because it had been such a huge achievement. And I would just love to see El Salvador reach the semifinals. I think they're, what they're doing with the coach Hugo Perez, I think, has done a fantastic job with this team. And I really want to see them like continue to develop. <clears throat> and um, I just think that they're really, really well equipped. I just think that the likes of Jamaica is going to underperform. I think Costa Rica is going to underperform. Even the likes of Honduras, they're going to underperform. And yeah, I just think El Salvador is really the best shout outside of the big three. And then obviously, this is a really big call. I might get a lot of hate for this. Um, I'm going to say Honduras gets eliminated in the group stage. So I just don't think Honduras have been great recently. I think there's some nations on the rise like Suriname, Curacao, even Panama. Like, I just think that they're going to, I think, I think Honduras is going to really struggle. I think Honduras is going to really struggle. And we saw it very evidently clear in the World Cup qualifiers. Now, granted, the Gold Cup is probably easier than the World Cup qualifiers, so they may still do well in the Gold Cup. For me, though, I think it's round of 16 max for this team. Um, they're going to disappoint, and I don't see them going to pass around round of 16. Actually, sorry, the quarterfinals, which I said. Now, the next one I have is prediction number four is Japan to win the Asian Cup. I think Japan, for me, are the best Asian team right now in the world. I think I like what they've been doing. They're the highest-ranked Asian nation. I believe they're 20th, which is really impressive. And I just like what uh, Morias has done with the team. And even though I still don't really think he is the... I still don't really agree with all of his decisions. It is nice to see that Japan has finally had some continuity. Because they haven't kept a coach post-World Cup for some time now. And I think it's great to see that they finally decided to keep their coach. And they have some young, nice, emerging players. Like the likes of Takusa Kubo, Tomiyasu, Mitoma. There was a lot of young players. And I really think that Japan can really be a statement in the next couple of World Cups. You know, finally make that quarterfinal appearance in the World Cup, which they've never been able to do so. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe in the next World Cup they can. Um, at least for the Asian Cup, though, I think they'll do, I don't think they'll win it. Next one here is Vietnam. This is a big call to make, and I might. Get, this is a really huge shout. I might be. Uh, this might be way too big of a statement, but I'm going to make it anyway. I think Vietnam is going to make the semifinals of the Asian Cup. I think what they've been doing is incredible. They made it to the last round of the Asian Cup, Asian World Cup qualifiers. And yes, they finished bottom in the group. I think they need experience, though. And because of the fact that, you know, it was 2022, I think by then they'll have more better players. I think the players will be more experienced. And I think they'll be able to finally take on the challenges of the Asian Cup. And let's be real, guys. Asian Cup is a lot easier than the World Cup qualifiers. So I think they'll be able to do it, um, you know, and I think they'll make a deep run. Now, semis might be a bit of a stretch. That may not be realistic. At the very least, though, I expect round of 16, though, from this team. And um, who knows? They can make, maybe make the final for what I know. So I think they have a really young squad. I really like what they've been doing. And look for them in World Cup qualifiers, guys. I think this is a team that 
you cannot write for pawn. Next one I have is Qatar. I think Qatar will go to the right of 16. I was not really impressed with Qatar in the World Cup. And yes, traditionally speaking, Qatar do well against Asian teams. However, I think that the pressure, I think the stage and the atmosphere got the better of them. And yes, even though it is the Asian Cup, and yes, they did win in the 2019, I don't think they've been great since then. I really don't think they have, and I just don't really think they'll do it. And plus, they're the host nation as well. That might come with added pressure. And I feel like Qatar will really just flop with so much pressure given upon them, you know? And so I, I, I don't think it'll be as bad as to go out of the group stage because let's be real, it's very difficult to go out of the group stage because like you have the four best third place teams. So even if Qatar don't do so well, they'll probably still find a way to qualify just because of how good they are. But I don't really expect them to go farther than round of 16. I think round of 16, they're going to be balanced by a top nation, a nation that's better than them, maybe like Japan, Iran, South Korea, Australia, or they lose to an underdog nation, like maybe like, let's say China, Vietnam, Uzbekistan, Lebanon, Syria, I, I just think it's all really struggle in the knockout stage in particular. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with them to go out the round of 16. Prediction number seven. So, I've got some Women's World Cup predictions here. I will try to cover the Women's World Cup. I'll try to watch it as much as I can because I love I love the Women's World Cup. I think it's a fantastic. I really enjoy the 2019 edition. And even though I'm not really a huge, huge fan of women's football, I still do appreciate it. And I'm still going to watch the World Cup. It's a World Cup of crying loud, you know. You know, whether you're a big fan or not, you still watch it, right? So um, I'm going to go with the hunch here and that USA, I think, is going to three-peat the Women's World Cup. Obviously, there are other contenders like Japan is up there, Netherlands is up there, England is up there. Who knows? Maybe even Australia because of the host, New Zealand, potentially. Um, but yeah, I think USA is going to win. I just think they're too strong in the moment. And yeah, I think USA is going to do it. I think USA is going to do a three-peat, guys. Next prediction I have here is that this is a really bold claim. And uh, this is a really big shock. I think New Zealand will not qualify for the group's because, yes, they're the host nation. I just don't think they have enough pedigree. And I feel like um, Norway and Switzerland are just way better than them on paper. And even though Norway and Switzerland haven't really been that great themselves in the last couple of tournaments, in particular, the Euros and the World Cup consideration, I just think that they're going to do it. I just think they're going to do it. Um, and I don't think New Zealand is all that great. I don't think New Zealand is all that impressive. Um, who knows? I could be very wrong with this prediction. Like I said, I'm not the most educated with women's football. So I, I may sound like a broken record here. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think they're going to not perform very well in this World Cup. And then next one I have is Norway to reach the semifinals of the Women's World Cup. I think Norway is a really underrated nation. I think they have some quality players on their team. And um, yeah, I just think Norway's going to do it, guys. I just think Norway's going to reach the semifinals. It's going to be that dark horse. There's always one dark horse in the World Cup, and I'm going to go with Norway personally on this one. Next one is, a, this was a pretty obvious one. I don't even need to really explain this one. Prediction number 10 is that Messi's going to win his eighth Ballon d'Or. I mean, I think it's a self-explanatory. Do I even need to really explain? I mean, just won the World Cup for crying out last year. So, yeah, I don't even think I need to explain that. Holland scored the most goals this year. Another Once again, another very obvious prediction, you know, of how good he's been for club, for Man City. And even look at his international. Like, I think um, this Norway team will really fire up in the World Cup qualifiers and even the Euro qualifiers. Remember, guys, Holland didn't play most of his World Cup qualifiers due to injury. So, I think he'll be able to finally hit those goal scoring records. And um, yeah, I think he's going to do it. So I think he's going to score the most goals in 2023. Now we move on to club related predictions. So my first club related prediction I have is AC Milan to lose the Serie A. I think Napoli is going to finally win the Serie A. It's been some time now since they won it. And I just think they're going to win it just because of how good they've been. You know, I, I really like the Kavicha guy. Uh, the Nguiza has been really good. I also really like um, Merritt as well, the goalkeeper. And I think then Spalletti's done a great job with this team. Because the problem with other teams, like AC Milan in particular, is that I think the injury crisis is going to get the better of them. You know, no Mike Don for the rest of the season. I think he's pretty much out for their season. And I think Milan has struggled with injuries. You know, Zlatan is injured. You know, Giroud, etc. And I just think that um, for me, Milan's going to really struggle. And I don't think Milan will be able to be that great. And I also feel like Milan might be focusing more on the Champions League since, you know, they haven't made the Champions League uh, quarterfinals for some time now. So... I think that's going to get the better of them. And yeah, I, I just think Milan's going to really struggle. And for Inter and Juve, I think they're going to be up there. I just think they're going to fall short because I don't think they're that great and good enough to win the league. So yeah, I'm going to go with Napoli. I'm going to go with Napoli. They better not let me down. Next for prediction I have is Lazio. I think Lazio will get that Europa League spot. I think Lazio have been one of the most impressive teams this season in the uh, Serie A. I think they're one of the most underrated teams. I really like the team that they have. You know, you got Luis Alberto. You have Milinkovic, Savage, Shura, Immobile. And I just think that um, Maurizio Sarri is doing a great job with this team because I think this team is a really good team. I think they're going to really punch above their weight. And yeah, I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to get Europa League next season. Um, who knows? They might even get champions. Like one of Inter Milan or Juventus could drop out, although I don't think they will. Uh, but who knows, man? Lazio have been so good. 
and we could see a big surprise, man. We could see a big surprise. Next one is P prediction number 40. I mean, this is pretty obvious. PSG is going to win League One. I don't even need to explain this. Monaco will get will not get European football next season. I think Monaco, for me, has been very inconsistent. They have so many good players on the team, and they're just seemingly underperforming, man. Against teams that they should be beating, like, for example, Reims, you should really not be losing to. You know, I think Brest, they lost to a few weeks ago. Uh, some other teams, probably at the top of my head, I can't remember. And I just think that, for me, the only saving grace that Monaco has have is that they're gonna do, they could do well against big teams. Like, they could get a result against PSG, but next thing you know, they lose to Reims at home. Like, it, it's just like the Spurs thing to do, right? And so that's why I say that I don't think Monaco will get European football next season. And you just can't get results against big teams and expect to, you know, qualify for European football. So this might be a bit harsh. In some ways, it probably is. But, I, you know, I'm going to make a big call. And this is my big call, guys. It's a big call to make. Now, next one, prediction right here. This is another big call to make. I think Osasuna will get European football. I think they're one of the most underrated teams in La Liga. They're very difficult to beat at home. They have a solid home record. Defensively, they're so solid. And I just think that they're very difficult to break down. They're very much an underrated team. They don't have a lot of quality players, but they play so well as a unit. And I think Osasuna will get that charge. And I think they're going to make that Europa Conference League spot with Sevilla pretty much underperforming. Villarreal, kind of unknown quantity McKillier team. Um, like it's going to be interesting for them to get that European football. So I think they can do it, guys. I think Osasuna will do it. Next prediction I have is right here. is prediction number 17. I think Real Madrid will win La Liga. As it pains me to say this as a Barca fan, I just don't trust Barca to win La Liga. And my primary concerns is with the wingers. Like, I just feel like for me, Barca wingers this season have been so underwhelming. You look at Ferran Torres in particular, who's really not done much this season. Ansu Fadi, who I really had high hopes for. And I think he is a great player. He's just not really looking that great this season. Usman Dembele, he's looking brain dead at the moment. I'm sorry, I don't know what Usman Dembele is doing. And Rafinha, as good as he has been, I, I think he's been Barca's best winger this season. But even he's not really been that great either. He's really not been that great. But the one thing I'll give him is that he tries the most of compared to the other wingers. And I just feel like for me, Real Madrid, when pressure comes upon them the most, they always tend to deliver. And I think Barca will just fall short in those big games. Like those big games in El Clasico, the Madrid game, Atletico Madrid, maybe and potentially like teams like Villarreal, um, you know, also soon in these kind of teams. I just think Barca will really struggle against. And I think Real Madrid will just about pimp them to the league title. It's going to be very close though. It's going to go down to the final whistle. But I give Real Madrid the slight edge. And also, I trust Ancelotti. I think Ancelotti's done a great job with this team. Where Xavi, uh, I don't really... I, I think I think Xavi has sworn out his favoritism. I don't really like how Xavi is having favoritism with this team. You know, still using likes of Busquets and Alonso. You know, you just got to stop using these players. And so, in short, I just think Real Madrid is just more of a well-organized team. Whereas Barcelona is disjointed and disorganized. Next prediction I have here is Byron's going to win the Bundesliga. I mean, I don't even need to explain this. Might as well move on. Uh, next one prediction we have is for Freiburg's going to get top four. I mean, I think they've been doing so well this season. I think they're finally going to get Champions League football. It's been for some time now, and I think they have a really good course strike. I think he's done a great job with this team. And I really think Freiburg's going to do it, guys. I think Freiburg's going to do it. And then the next one I have is a prediction number 20 is I think Man City's going to win the EPL. I know a lot of people are thinking Arsenal, and Arsenal could do it. I still trust Man City, though. I still think Man City is going to get the job done in those big games, and I think Arsenal will just fall short in those big games. Um, I would love for Arsenal to win the league, though. Like, if you're a person asking me, I would prefer them to win the league over Man City so we can finally have some new team to win it, you know, not have the same team win it again and again. But, yeah, I still think Man City is going to do it. Um, I think Real Madrid is going to win the Champions League. I think they're going to defend their title. They just look so solid at the moment defensively. Or, uh, they're just looking so... Uh, they're, men, they're, they're just... Uh, they're just big game players. Like, they always turn up in big games. And I just don't really trust other teams like PSG, Man City, Bayern, Liverpool. Nah. Real Madrid. Um, at the prediction number 22 is I think Juventus is going to win the Europa League. I think, for me, they're one of the most underrated teams. And, yes, I know it's a crazy call to make. And a lot of people in my life they laugh at me from the comment section below for saying this. But I just think that Juventus, for me, with um, other teams like Barcelona, Arsenal, Manchester United. I want to Barcelona, Manchester United. I won't make, the, won't make it far in this competition because, obviously, the two will play against each other. And I just feel like for me, guys, with the Europa League, expect the unexpected. We're not going to see the team that favorites that always win it. It's going to be an unexpected team. And I just think Juventus is going to do it, guys. I think Juventus is going to do it with Di Maria, uh, Chiesa, and Pogba back. And for my final prediction, guys, I think Lazio is going to win the Conference League. I just think West Ham, for me, I would actually have considered them in Villarreal, but I think Villarreal won't do it because, you know, I don't trust Etienne. And uh, West Ham, I don't think David Moyes is going to stay at West Ham for much longer now. And plus, they're in a relegation battle, so... You know, I think they're going to go all in. They might go all in the Conference League just because they want to avoid relegation, but I think they're going to be focused more on the Premier League. So I think Lazio, for me, is one of the most underrated teams, and I think they'll win the Conference League. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys like this video. Enjoy. Subscribe if you want to
Comment down below your thoughts, comment section below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.